Hi there, this is Peter from Tenderfoot Electronics and this is our new module, Morse. Morse is a 12HP module that brings the language of Morse code into your modular system. It's part instrument, part practice tool and part experimental communicator. Morse ships with two interchangeable key types. On the left we have the dual paddles where streams of dits and dars are sent automatically by pressing either the thumb or the finger. And on the right, we have the straight key, which is fully manual. Swapping between the two is quick and simple and is fully explained in the manual. Morse has five main operation modes and we'll quickly go through them all. The first one is the standard Kia mode. So we just go mode Kia. And this is the decoder uh, for whatever you enter via the paddles or the key. Now, that's a little bit big, so if you want to fit more text on the screen, we can go into settings, display, and change the text size. Now in the Kia mode and all of the other modes, you can change the tone that you hear coming from the audio. So let's just quickly go into settings, audio, and first let's change the pitch. We can also change the wave shape. So I think we're currently on triangle. So we've got sine, triangle, saw, and square. Next, we're gonna change the slew, which is essentially the envelope speed. So we can have it nice and snappy, or a bit slower for a softer sound. Also in the audio menu, we have a balance control, which is just relative volume settings for the sent and received tones. Now in the key settings, we can change the speed. So this is our words per minute se uh, setting. So we can also change the pace in the key settings, which is essentially a Farnsworth setting. So you can reduce the effective words per minute whilst keeping the dit and dar rate quite high. Now, in the Kia mode, you'll see at the bottom, there's a little line and a dot, and this is really useful to help you with your timing. So the, the dot shows when a character break happens, and if the line reaches the end of the screen, it's gonna be a word break. So I'll just quickly show you what happens if we reduce the pace. So we reduce it all the way down, which is reducing our effective words per minute. So you can see it's giving us a really long time to finish characters and send words. H-E-P-P -P doesn't mean anything, by the way. <laughs> so let's just put the pace back up again to 100%. There we go. Now the key menu has a few other controls as well, but we'll go through those in another video. This is just a quick overview today. And also, of course, everything's in the manual. So going back to the modes of operation, the one we were just using is called Kia, which is just a decoder. Just like that, hello. The next is the messages mode. And so you're able to populate the module with 64 messages and you can do this over the little Wi-Fi hotspot that the module creates. So let's select the first one and we play by pressing the left paddle. We can play again and you can pause with the right one and resume again. Now, if we want to slow that down, we go into the key settings, 
WPM. And there we go. Now I'll quickly show you how to add messages to the message bank. So we do that over the Wi-Fi hotspot that the module makes. We go into Wi-Fi and then to the actual updater. And it gives you on the screen the Wi-Fi credentials that you need to use. So I'm just going to connect to the Morse key network that's being broadcast. So I'm just going to use my phone quickly. Uh, and you'll see the screen gives us the password. And then into your browser, you just enter the IP address that's also displayed on the screen. So this is the page that comes up. Let's just get it into focus. Morse key control panel. So you can see we can edit messages select a message and then we type in what we want to enter so let's just put in hello everyone save it saved and then we press the restart button on the phone and we'll see the module restart again Now from here, we go back into the messages and we can see our message there. Now the third mode in the menu system is the spectrum analyzer. This is used to take audio inputs from an external source. So this is just what we're listening to. It's a recording of some Morse code. And you can put it into the audio input. And the spectrum analyzer allows you to see the audio that is coming in. We've got a few controls on the left. So frequency, bandwidth, and also the magnitude. Uh, so we can fine tune the settings. And whatever the pixel state of the central of the 32 buckets, uh, is gets sent to the the Morse decoder. So from here we can go back into the menu and we go to our fourth mode which is the audio in and we get a readout of what's actually being sent through the audio. Now this isn't always 100% accurate but with a very clean signal like this we can we can get some pretty accurate decoding. It also gives you the words per minute in the top right and we get a gate output. Similarly, we can decode uh, gate inputs as well as audio, and that just works in any of the modes. Now, the last of the five main modes uh, is the games mode. So here we've got the sending game, where you just have to send whatever's on the screen, and it tells you if you're right or wrong. There's three different difficulty settings and you can change the speed of all three of them using the words per minute setting in the key menu. In addition to the sending game, there's a copying game. So let's just start that and you'll hear the audio for a character or a small word and you just have to send it back. So these modes are fun little tools for practicing your Morse code. So the final thing we're going to look at is the web chat mode which uses any of the standard modes but allows you to communicate with people all around the world over Wi-Fi. So you put in the credentials of the Wi-Fi network you wish to co connect to using the little web connector, the updater that I showed earlier. And then we just go web chat on in the menu, connecting, connected. So anything I send from one module uh, is being received by the other over the internet. And we can go from the left one to the right. So the receiving module gets audio at the same rate and pitch as the sending module uh, and you'll also receive 
gate outputs as well in time with all of the dits and the dars. So essentially you can control people's modules or collaborate all around the world. There's a hosted web application um, and you can see what people are saying in Morse and you can also send messages from there. So this is a test. We send it and both modules are receiving it. So again, this is going to open up a lot of interesting things for collaborative patching and yeah, just interactivity between people all around the world. So hopefully we'll be able to build a bit of a community and get a few of us in there uh, chatting. So you can see the messages coming out on the, the web app. Oh pretty much in real time uh, and you can see yeah all the chatter and what's going on and you can even reply to it yes. yeah so we're very excited about this feature and it'll be interesting to see what people do with it and where it goes so we're just going to turn off the web uh, with web chat now, so menu web chat off, just so we're not spamming the servers with the next little bit. And I'm quickly going to show you the gate output. So we're sending the gate output into the trigger input of a tetrad, and we'll just patch that into the mixer. So we'll turn down the Morse audio. So this opens up a lot of possibilities for pretty interesting patching. Like you could use this in collaboration with the, the web chat and have people sending your modular synthesizer gates from the other side of the planet over Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's just quickly reconnect to the web server. So connected and connected. And what we can do here is send signals from the right module to the left one and receive gates and we can also use the web app so let's send a message from the server and receive the gates to the tetrad So that wraps it up for now. Uh, thank you for watching and Morse is currently available from our website and they'll be in dealers soon. So yeah, keep an eye out for that and thanks. Okay, bye.